Today in the boot guide, we're looking at the Rambler by Errant with this beautiful gum rubber sole and a square steel toe. So the first thing you're going to notice is the gum sole. It's this clear translucent sole. And a sole like this is excellent when it comes to slip resistancy, when it comes to oil resistancy, fats, and acids. Ideally, anybody who works in a farm environment or around machinery where there's lots of mechanical stuff going on, where you're taking apart engines, where you're putting in rods and you're doing things like that, this is an excellent sole for you. To add to all that, they also included this beautiful square steel toe. Now, Eric has pretty much perfected the square oblique steel toe. It's a lot of room left to right. It's a lot of room top to bottom. And when you slide the boot on, you don't realize that you have a steel toe on your foot. In the shank section, they use that ATS fork shank. Now, these shanks have been proven to be extremely comfortable, extremely responsive and they just work out really well when it comes to pull-on boots. Now the heel cup, nice and tight. And like most pull-on boots, the more time you spend wearing this boot, the tighter and more comfortable this whole section is going to become to your foot. Now the shaft is a surface sewn shaft. All the stitches on the outside, so there's nothing inside. When you slide your foot in and out, there's no pesky stitch there to get in the way to cause a little discomfort or anything like that. Now, since it's a single piece leather boot, ideally hot weather, ideally dry, warm, hot weather. It's not a waterproof boot. There's nothing in here to stop water from getting through unless you take care of it and you treat it and you put oils into it just to keep water from penetrating it on short-term exposures. But if you choose not to do anything like that, this boot in extremely warm weather because of the single piece leather up top in the shaft section, because of the lighter weight vamping that they use through the bottom of the boot, it's gonna be excellent in really hot weather. Now these PVC soles just by nature are comfortable. There's lots of response, there's lots of bounce, but Aerie just didn't stop with the sole. They sent along this ATS insole that has three different types of surfaces to it. The green section is a gel type material that offers a lot of impact upon the ball of your foot and the heel as you're walking. The maroon section there is a little bit stiffer a little bit harder adding support and just shape to the inside of the boot where your foot sits and the gray section here which runs from the tip of the toe all the way to the heel underneath all of this is the real cushion that's the soft spot that's the stuff that does not break down that holds up to long-term use of course the boot is fully welted so if you needed to have it resold once you were done with it completely possible. But the other thing that's nice about a fully welted boot, and I've talked about that before, is that you sit on top of the sole. You don't sit at the edges of the sole, so you get more of a comfortable stance if you gotta stand in one place for a really long time, say you're working on a piece of equipment, you're standing over the sole, so you got a really nice platform that offers support, not only to your foot, but also to your knees and your lower back. Size and fit and comfort, well, armed with that sole, armed with this insole, and the fact that it's single piece leather, it's going to be comfortable just by design. Now, sizes, they run from a 7 to a 14. They only make it in a D width. So if you're a double E, it kind of cancels you out, but Eric has a bunch of other boots that they make it extra wide width with square steel toes.
So that's the Errant Rambler steel toe in this beautiful brown leather with that beautiful oblique steel toe with tons of space inside there. If you've worn any of the pull-on boots by Eric before, please comment below. If you've worn the Rambler with this type of sole, please comment below. Let guys know the situations you're in, what type of work, what type of chemicals, what you've exposed this thing to, and how it performed on the other end. If you want to know some more specifics about this boot, or if you want to see some detailed photos, swing by to bootguy.com. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. On both of those services, I post photos and comments about boots, outdoor boots, work boots every single day. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.